Hello, welcome back to Rich Tech. Today I'm going to try to transform this worn out, dead, discarded charger into new charger, so to speak. One with a new lease of life. As you can see there's nothing there. There's no cable and it looks worn and dilapidated. It's an 85 watt MagSafe charger. And I'm going to use this cable too. This is a MagSafe 2 cable. As you can see, this cable is also worn out, torn, and needs repair. Let's see what we can do with these two, and how we can transform these two to form a great charger. As in all my repairs, the first thing I usually do is to make sure that uh, what I'm working with is actually uh, practical that is if these uh, parts are working I have confirmed that this uh, MagSafe 2 cable connector is working so the only damage I need to replace between here and there the thing that I haven't confirmed if it's working is this uh, charger board itself so I'm going to open it up and test it uh, if it has input and output and uh, I'm going to open it up if you don't know how to open a Apple MagSafe charger, you can watch some of my previous videos, you'll know how to. Here's the charger, I popped it open. And this is an original charger. You can always see it and know that this is an original one. What's been used here is really uh, genuine. So I'll put this junction out so as to get to the cables behind. And this junction is already destroyed, obviously you can't use it again, so I'll cut it off. There are the two cables, the positive and the return. So I'll connect this to our cable together with our MacBook and see if it's still working. So here's the charger, I've already opened it and exposed the wires, the ends of the wires that is. This is my MacBook, which I want to test. So I'll connect the charger to power. I hear I'm uh, listening out for a pop, which tells me that this adapter has an uh, input. Had that pop, that shows the input is there. Now I want to find out if there is output. This is the end of this cable. I'll match the wires to the wires in the charger. These are the wires on the cable side and these are the wires on the adapter side. And let's see if we have any uh, light coming out of the connector. And here we go. This charger is good. The adapter itself is good. The cable is good. Now we can join them. Before we join them we need to repair this part of the cable which is worn out. So that's a simple test which you can uh, do to make sure that everything is okay before you move on. To repair this end of the cable which is uh, bare, first of all I'll remove these excess wires which are hanging out here. That's a bit neat. Then I want to pass this cable holder over this portion of the cable. So I'll make this end neat with a razor. Now 
Now pull it all the way back. I've started cleaning this cable. It has some uh, mark, dirty marks on it, but uh, the cleaning is coming out fine. So next I want to pull this rubber insulation all the way over the open bare part of the cable so as to cover this gap. And I want it once it reaches here to go underneath this other insulation, that's what gives it strength at this point. So I can go uh, through this in two ways and I'm going to do it the easier way. I'm going to cut off this upper portion of the insulation and slide it back. Then I'll slide this all the way to the end then I'll bring back this. So using a razor I cut uh, only the upper layer of insulation. Be sure not to cut, if you are doing this, be sure not to cut the inner insulation. This part of the inner insulation, it goes underneath this. Once you've cut out the upper layer, you slide it back and over this other part of the cable. Next, you trim this somewhere up uh, there. Then remove the insulation. And you can also remove the extra wires which are hanging. Now I want to pull this rubber insulation all the way to that point and uh, fix it there with glue. I pull it all the way up to the end now what remains is to put super glue there so that it can remain attached permanently this is just ordinary super glue i've had some people asking in the comments what kind of glue that i use this ordinary super glue and i use it in all the places you see me using glue so wipe this excess glue with a wet cloth so that this does not stick to your hands it's connected it's not getting it back and this takes a few seconds to dry so that is already connected it's not coming back Next, I'll return this portion that I'd cut. I'll push it over the joint to cover it. Again, wipe off the excess glue. Do a good job, this should be the result. And at every stage, do not forget to test. So I'll connect it to the MacBook once again. Connect the adapter which you want to connect it with to the power source and then join the wires and check for working of the connector this is good so we can proceed and now connect these two now i'm cleaning off the dirt which is at this point see this is glue which the previous user used to repair the damage user which was around here so I'll remove all the glue and all the dirt around there to make it as clean as possible before I solder the cables here. Now this charger is filthy and I've cleaned the end there which now looks okay. Now there's still some glue and uh, some dirt all over it. 
I normally don't do this but uh, for this I want to clean it up and uh, for those who want to know what I'm using I'm using this uh, scouring material together with uh, some scouring powder so I'll clean it up I'll not bore you with the cleaning bit but you will see it's the same charge at the end though cleaner now having cleaned this casing I found uh, that uh, even though it looks nice the words are worn so you can barely read them so since I'm doing most of the work I thought I should go all the way and uh, also get this charger a new casing relatively new these all the words are there and uh, it looks fairly good and here is the charger itself so we're going to solder the wires there and uh, put that charger inside its casing and see the result Make sure to solder both ends of the cable, the wires which come from the charger and the wires which come from the cable itself. Apply some solder at the ends so that uh, the joining should be easy. Now we can place or put this charger inside the casing. As you can see, I only opened one side of the casing. I left these other sides, two sides untouched, so that the final work may become neat and also the work may be easier. The front is fitting well. These are good fix, only waiting now for glue to hold these parts together. At this point you can also test to see if uh, this charger is still working and if our uh, soldering work was good. So I'll connect it to a power source and then connect it to a MacBook charger. So this charge is working.
now you can close up these ends Once the glue is set, now the charger is as good as new. You can see all the joints are perfect. Going all around and also the side where we've put the glue. Also the clips can uh, be able to open freely. That's the front end, that's the cable. Kindly subscribe, like and share if you like such content. I really appreciate for your time. Thanks again for watching.